Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to try to learn another API from web driver IO. Um, let's see how to let me open the screen of the application first. That's how to we can set some tests in a test field and click on the login button here. So what we are going to learn today that is the set value API. So from if you go to the web driver IO web uh, homepage and then you go to the API tab here and you find the set value API, you can see that see we support the um, dollar size and the select your value and we call the set value API and we put a value at a string inside this is an example for that so the task today that for us that we need to inspect the email and password the uh, low, low locator for element locator and then try to set some value into those field and try to run the test script so just open um let me delete every single thing here Let's open your ID and then try to right click on the API folder and then new um, new uh, Zafra script file uh, with the name set value, the same name with the API. By the way, I will commit the latest code into the repository mobile automation test Android just in case you want to take a look after the lesson. So after you create a new file here, we need to create a test suite from Mocha, the cry keyword here and <clears throat> uh, we name this test suite at the learning <clears throat> web driver uh, io api and we are going to create a test script with the name source input username and password okay something like that uh, And from this screen, you can see that uh, we cannot go directly to the login form and just input the email and password. We need from the home page after the app. After you run the test, the app will contact to the target device and then uh, this will open the, uh, the app from the home page here. So we need to click on the login uh, icon or the login text right here uh, that we already knew from the, the previous lesson. And then we have to go to the login. We will input the correct uh, email um, format uh, with a character for the batch work view. And then click on the login for the porosity case. You can do more in the negative uh, the, the, the negative case or you can do more uh, in the session that create the real tech automation. Mm, we will create test script for uh, to test this application later. But just in this lesson, we need to focus on varsity K and we supply a valid email address format and the password in a character. So the first step that we need to click on the home page, the login, uh, the login on home page, uh, home screen, I mean. And then the second step that we need to the first step is the first step. And the second step that we um, feel the email test field okay and the second step that we uh, the third step that we need to fill um, patchwork field okay and the last one that we need to click on the lock key button right so and if we want to interact on the element uh, element on the screen, we need to declare the uh, locator first. So let's declare our uh, element locator or select a value. We already know the uh, the login button on the home screen, so just declare a, a constant as login um, icon on the home screen equal uh, the title side and title side and the login here 
the second uh, the second locator element locator that is the email test field or constant email test field equal we leave it blank and then we will come back later after inspecting the element on the screen okay so the first one will be password uh, text field equal blank so don't worry about putting on the locator here we will learn about how to um, how to create a pay object later okay just put every single element locator right now in your text script we will learn about a pay object and all the related thing about that later constant the login button the last one and we leave it at plain address now we need to come back to the selenium appium desktop um, not selenium sorry appium desktop and you stop it and then click on the stock server like before click on the inspector session icon wait uh, wait for it to launch the time to launch uh, appium that uh, appium desktop will depend on your uh, machine performance maybe it will be fast or maybe it will be low like my machine because i run a lot of things on the background so just go to click on the say capability here and choose the appropriate uh, capability set that you said before in this case i'm selecting the android uh, j7 and start the session at that time the appium server will contact to the service service device and try to get the latest screen um, on the uh, the target application Okay, here we are. So uh, we need to go to, let me click manually on the login icon on the phone first, and then I will try to refresh the resource. So we click on the email here, here you see, this is the select element tool and make sure you click on it. By default, it will be, uh, will be selected, but just in case you work around, you need to click on select elements uh, inspector tool first and click on the email field and we have the accessibility id in this email we already knew about that right so the email test field we have the because the accessibility id so we need to use the title sign and then try to paste the value here and we do the same thing for the password field here and let me get copy uh, and paste here the title sign does mean stand for that stands for the accessibility ID, okay? And the last mm -hmm. one is the login button here. So the login button we don't have the accessibility ID, but look at here. We have the content description, content de description, and as I mentioned with you before, the content description on Android does the same thing. This is the same thing with accessibility ID. So just copy the button uh, login value here, you see, and that will be your accessibility ID. But just want to make sure you just copy it and try to use the source for element. In this case, the locator strategy will be accessibility ID and then you paste the value here and source. You see, we found out and now the button is you now highlighted on the screen. So that means we found out the the, the, the element selector correctly. Okay, done. And then we go back and copy that here. Tito style again and the, but, the button login. So the first step that to click on the login button on the home screen, we use the dollar sign and then we supply the parameter, the login button on the screen. And then we use the API that we already know that they click API. After click, you will see the login form. So we input email, password, and login button. So to input a value into a text field, you use the API that they first need to email a text field, and we use the API dot set value. And you splice a parameter at a string. In this case, uh, for example, a, a, a dot com. And we do the same thing for the password field. 
okay dollar sign and password test field and set value uh this will be from one to a okay one to three four five six seven eight okay and the first step uh, the last step will be click on the login button <clears throat> Just, just do the login button and call the API click. Okay, everything seems perfect. So we need to run the test script. Okay, so we need to right click on the test, uh, test script name and then copy the path. And I will copy the path from the, uh, the, the, the content root here. Try to go back to the tech configuration file here and try to replace, try to replace the the old one with the new ones. So you may need to have the, something like a question that's how can we run a lot of test case, but you don't need to care about it right now. I will tell you how to run it in parallel or how to run a lot of test case later. So in the meantime, just try to comment out for all the test, test script in the space here. And you just need to put the test script, the target script that we have just created correctly. And then we run it. So don't care about all the things. Just do step by step first, okay? So the location should be dot slash API set value, okay? And we can, uh, because the, the server is now, is it now already uh, running? Is it now running? So we don't need to start the FBM server manually, but um, in the real project, we don't use the FBM desktop to start the FBM server, okay? So it's just for practice. So in the real project, we will start the FDM in the under background by command line tool here. And I already mentioned how to do it, okay? So in this case, because it's uh, still running, so just just let the, the server running on the port 54, 47, 23, and then we run the test script. So let me see the command to run just again. In the back existence here, we have a test WDIO, so we run npm test. And then we supply the option run, and we point out the location for test configuration files. In this case, it should be the test configuration file here. Test config, and then we enter. So let me open the visual app here for you. You can see that's how the testing reflect on the real device. Now the IBM server try to open a, a press a session and open the, uh, the, the target application. Just wait a moment <clears throat> here. So if you click on the login, input email, input the password, and then click on the login button. Okay, but because we didn't wait, we didn't wait at the end, so after it's click, we we didn't see anything. So just add something like browser. Dot suppose browser dot suppose does mean we will wait some time uh, around three thousand. That means three thousand milliseconds. That means three three seconds. So mm, we don't need to wait in the real process, but just in case you want to debug uh, to see something, okay. So just run the test case again and try to open mm, uh, the visor to to see the how it work on the real device. Visor is just a, an application to reflect from a, a device that connected to your machine. Okay, so it's not related to anything to our cost just easier for you to look at um, what I'm doing on my machine. So you see, because we wait, we 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 put the browser pause here and 3000 milliseconds so we can see the result. So try to press this and see you in the next lesson. <clears throat>